This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Tayo po'y nagkakatipon hindi lamang bilang sambayanan ng Diyos, kundi tunay na bayang pinili sa Kanyang kagandahang loob. It is then with grateful hearts that we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is the vine, and we are the branches. May you stay united with Him, and may His Spirit be always with you. And also with you. Hindi tayo tunay na magbubunga ng isang buhay na naganap at kaaya-aya unless we are connected to the Lord. Jesus invites us today, remain connected to me that so you may bear fruit a plenty. Sa mga pagkakataon tayo naganap ng iba pang koneksyon at hindi sa Kanya na siyang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng biyaya. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the vine, we are the branches. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you make our lives fruitful. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bind us to one another in love so that the world may know that we are disciples, your disciples. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look on us with mercy, Lord Jesus. Do not let us be separated from you and bring us to the joy of eternal life. Amen. We join our hearts. We proclaim glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and peace. 
God our Father, look upon us with love. You redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. After his encounter with the risen Lord on the road to Damascus, Saul joins the disciples in Jerusalem. Despite Barnabas' testimony, Saul is met with fear and skepticism. Because of a death threat, he is sent away to Tarsus. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord, that he had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To be born the justice 
second reading, the Christian community will always be known by love. And it is by love that it remains in intimate union with God. Our reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to give glory to the Holy Gospel. And also with you. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. It takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nitong mga nakaraang linggo, patuloy that Jesus, our Master and Lord, makes claims. Minsan sinabi niyang, I am the way and the truth and the life. Minsan sinabi niya na rin, I am the light. At last Sunday, napakinggan natin siya as he made the claim, I am the good shepherd. Inunderline niya yung good shepherd. Sapagat nung panahon niya, alam natin napakarami ang klase ng mga sinasabing pastol. But Jesus specifies, ako yung mabuting pastol. Because hindi ako bayaran. I'm not working for money. Ako, I will offer my life for the sake of my sheep. I am the good shepherd. Today, Jesus makes another claim. And he says, I am the vine. Pero dinugtong nga ni Juan that Jesus makes this difference. I am the true vine. And you are the branches. 
Remain connected to me that so you may bear fruit. Ang katagang vine ay ginagamit din ho yan sa lumang tipan katulad ng shepherd. And yet when we check into the book of the prophet Isaiah, the vine that they speak in the Old Testament is Israel. Bakit ho ba Israel? Agad ito po yan. Sa kabila ng ito ho'y bayang napakaliit. Sa kabila ng ito'y kukunti sila compared to the other great nations like Egypt and all the others. Si Lord Dinesisyon na piliin itong bayang ito. Bakit? Tanong ng marami. Ni wala nga silang oil na kanila. Napakaliit na bayang, kukunti ang population. Bakit sila pinili? Ang sagot natin dyan, eh hindi ko alam. Sasabihin ng mga ilong ko, eh ti mo. Eh ganun yun eh. And yet, when Jesus, when God the Father decided to choose the people of Israel, ipinamalas niya, not so much Israel, kundi ko anong pwede niyang gawin para sa isang bayan. Ipinamalas niya that He is a God of compassion and mercy. Na sa kabila na ito'y palaging palpak, palagi siyang tinatalikuran, palaging hindi tapat, God remained to be faithful. At hindi lang yan, sinabi niya, ang sino mang magiging kaparte ng aking bayang pinili, they will have all the privileges they wanted. In short, ginamit kanina ni Father Tommy in our table discussion, Israel became the depository of the graces of God. The example of how God deals with a nation na kanyang favorite. Dito, lahat ng biyaya makukuha ninyo pag kayo'y kasapi na itong bayang aking pinili. That's why when you speak of Israel, this is the vine. And you have to be connected to it. You have to be a part of it. Upang ang lahat ng biyayang binibigay sa bayang Israel ay magiging inyo din. And Israel spoke about being exclusive. Kami yung pinili. Sa amin manggagaling lahat. And finally, totoo, dumating yung itinakdang panahon that the greatest of all graces has come to Israel. At ano po yan? Ang tagapagdigtas. Ang Mesiya. Ang kaligtasan ng buong mundo. And yet today, Jesus says, Israel is the old vine. Now I am the true vine. Ang lahat ng hinahangad ng Israel sa akin na ngayon, inyong matatagpuan. Ako na ngayon ang pagmumulan ng lahat ng biyaya na inyong pangangailangan. And Jesus today says, unless you are connected to me, you will not bear fruit. Mga kapatid, diretsahang nagsalita ang Panginoon sa araw na ito. At sinabi niya, I am the true vine, at hanggang hindi kayo kaparte ko, you will not have what you desire. Abide in me. Bakit? Una, because if you do not abide in me, natural that you will die. Pwede, pwede kang mabuhay, ngunit, walang bu- ngunit buhay na walang kahulugan. Pangalawa, hanggang sa hindi ka nakakonektang tunay sa akin, hindi ka magbubunga at bear fruit a plenty. E ano ho yung pangako ni Kristo sa Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito? Sa lahat ng mga nananatili sa kanyang nakakonekta. Ito po yun. Number one, that your life will give glory to God. Sapagat ikatutuwa niya na ikaw na kanyang na, na, na nagdidesisyon na kay Kristo'y manatili sapagat He now is the full depository of all that we desire. The graces na ating pangangailangan, your life will truly become a way of giving God glory. Why? Because you will truly be fruitful. You will become disciples of the Lord. And the Father will answer your every prayer. Grabe si Kristo na. If you remain connected to me, lahat ng hinihingi nyo sa Ama ay kanyang bibigyan kasagutan. But there is a fourth, and ito medyo iba. Kung ikay patuloy na nakakonekta sa akin, the expert pruner, the one who makes the vine to grow, will prune you. Yung katagang pruning, takot yung iba dyan. Kasi ang ibig sabihin lang nito sa mga nakakaintindi, tatanggalan ka ng mga bagay na hindi mo kailanganin upang manatili kang magbubunga. That's the only way a vine 
truly bears fruit. Naikwento ko na sa inyo na no? ako'y nag-aral sa Italy. Nasa aking bintana, sapagat nasa likuran ako banda, yung guarding maliit ng aming general house. Abay, nagulat ako minsan. Mga February po yun. Yun ang talagang height ng taglamig. Tinitignan-tignan ko habang ako'y nanginig-inig doon sa bintana, yung brother namin na naandun sa garden at may mga puno kami ng ibang ilang puno ng pears doon, aba talagang haribas siyang putol ng putol ng putol. And so I decided to brave the cold. Nagpatong-patong ako ng damit para tignan, Brad, anong ginagawa mo? Ay ito pinupruning ko. Pero yung pruning niya, halos ang nanatili na lamang isang stick na na doon sa gitna. Talagang putol siya ng putol. And I said, why do you do that? Ang ganda ng sagot niya sa akin, wait until springtime, then you will see. And so every day I was looking at those trees and then finally, there were little leaves that came out. But more than just the leaves, ang lumabas po, flowers. The pruning makes the flowers to come out and not the leaves. And of course, the flowers will become fruits. Kaya nang sinabi ni Kristo, my Father will prune you, tatanggalin sa inyo ang lahat na hindi mahalagang pinagtutuanan nyo ng pansin upang tunay kayong magbunga sa bungang kanyang inaasahan. Kahapon po, may isa po kaming paring na ordain. Bishop uh, Roder, Roderick Pavillo came for the ordination of one Ilonggo uh, seminarian by the name of Ian Mpig. Nakakatuwa yung story niya. Nung siya ay tumayo para magpasalamat, sinier niya yung kanyang hurt feelings. Hindi namin alam yun. Bakit? Kasi ang tatay niya, si Medardo, pumasok ko yun sa seminaryo. Eh, bibong-bibo po yun. Talagang naging napakarami ang kaibigan kasi palatawa, pa-joke, you know, magaling sa basketball. And he was one person very alive. But he decided to leave. Nag-asawa siya. At na-aksidente sa motor while the wife was pregnant with Ayan. Si Ayan lumaki na hindi man lamang minsan nasilayan ang muka ng tatay. She was, he was still in the womb when the father died. At sinyer na yun, na ilang beses ang tinanong si Lord, Lord, bakit? Bakit nangyari ito na ako'y lalaki na walang tatay? Bakit nangyari ito na minsan may hindi ko naramdaman kung paano niya ako dapat pangkuin, mahalin, halikan, akapin? Lord, bakit mo pinayagan na ako'y lalaki na wala akong tatay na matawag? And yet, as he grew into the seminary life, he decided, kung ako nakakunek doon sa kawalan ng tatay, it will be a bad life for me. I will connect myself to the one who took away my dad and I will have him as my father. Alam nyo, akame, we feel that Ian is going to be a good priest because he has finally connected himself to where all of these graces come from. Please pray for him. A very young priest, one day old in the priesthood, at kanina dalawa na kaagad ang misa niya, pinakikinggan ko. He is on fire. And I believe because he has found the proper connection. Sometimes si Lord tatanggalin even yung pinakamalapit sa iyo. Lamang makita mo siya as the most important sa buhay mo. Today, we ask God that we remain connected to Him. And the connection can only happen kung talagang bibigyan natin pansin. Katulad yan, gusto ko kayong anyayahan. Because every Wednesday dito, mayroon tayong prayer meeting sa ating grupo ng Acts. A prayer group community. Pero this coming Wednesday, for example, si Father Domi Guzman, who is good with scriptures, is going to give a talk in a Bible study that we will have this coming Wednesday. Kung libre kayo, that's a beautiful way to reconnect yourself to the Lord. To hear His voice speak to you. To have His word explained by somebody who is good. To make yourself feel na siya ang daluyan ng lahat ng biyaya. Unless you remain in me, you will not bear fruit. But the moment you do remain in me, you will bear fruit. The Father will be glorified. You will become my disciples. And He will answer your every prayer. Today we ask Jesus, Lord, make us remain connected to you. For that's the only way we can bear fruit 
of a good life. Amen. Tayo po'y magsitayo. As we proclaim, I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born by the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. As we affirm our faith in Jesus, our Lord of life, who in the womb of Mary became one of us, we thank all mothers and ask the Lord to fill all of them with His choicest blessings. As we pray, Lord Jesus, be our life. Lord Jesus, be our life. Lord of life, keep the church in your love. Guide and protect all church leaders and make your people a leaven in the transformation of the world, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, life. be yeah. our life. Lord of life, bless the mothers of our families with your strength and love, with your joy and peace, with health and laughter, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, be our life. Lord of life, grant that the sick and the lonely, those in bondage and those in exile, Receive consolation and help, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, be our life. Lord of life, grant that those who have turned away from your path may experience your forgiveness and the joy of a new life in you, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, be our life. Lord of life, heal all divisions among Christians and unite us all so that we may move as one in building your kingdom. We pray. Lord Jesus, be our life. Lord Jesus, you were born of the Virgin Mary, that we might become God's children. Give us all the joyful reassurance that you're always with us. Grant that we may never be separated from you, so that we may bear much fruit for the glory of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented to the altar. Be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord God, by this holy exchange of gifts, you share with us your divine life. Grant that everything we do may be directed by the knowledge of your truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with lift you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. In Him a new age is dawn, the long reign of sin is ended, a broken world has been renewed, and man is once again made whole. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world, while the choirs of heaven sing forever to your glory. fountain of holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Proclaim the mystery of our faith. Tayo pong lahat sabay-sabay. We remember how you love To your death. And still we celebrate. For you are with us. And we believe that we will see you. When you come. In your glory. death and resurrection we offer you father this life-giving bread this saving cup we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you may all of us who share in the blood and blood of christ be brought together in unity by the holy spirit lord remember your church throughout the world make us go in love together with pope benedict with Luis antonio our bishop and all the clergy remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life 
with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them, give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama na Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang Connected to Jesus He tells us we can ask the Father for anything, and the Father will grant it to us. Let's ask for a meaningful life, a life of love for God and for others. We pray the Our Father. Hingin natin sa Panginoon na tayo magbuka sa pagmamahalan at sa pagsilbi sa kapwa. Our Father, who dwells in heaven, holy be your name. in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. To your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Madaling hulihin kung nakakonekta ka pa kay Kristo. Una, may buhay kang mapayapa. May buhay ka ring naganap na yung iyong tinanggap na pag-ibig. Maibahagi sa iba. Once you have truly found the divine, which is Jesus, your life will also become a source of blessing and fruitfulness para sa iba. We share that peace of the Lord with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be to our televiewers.
This is Jesus who desires that we remain in Him as branches connected to the vine, that so we may have fruitfulness. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. By the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us. Amen. We'll receive Him. Amen. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. At tayo po'y manalangin. Merciful Father, may these mysteries give us new purpose and bring us to a new life in you. Grant us to Christ our Lord. Amen. Sa pangalan po ng napakaraming nagpapasalamat sa atin dahil sa ating TV ministry, sa mga nakakausap ko po na nagsasabing, Father, nung kami may sakit, the television mass brought us connected to Jesus. Sa mga nagsasabing, Father, ramdam kong naandun siya at kasama ko siya, na kinakausap niya ko habang ako'y nanonood ng TV Mass. We would like to say thank you sa lahat na patuloy na sumusuporta at nagiging kaparte nitong ministering ito. Nalulungkot lang sometimes ako, yung mga may kaya talaga. Ano, sasabihin, ah, Father, ganda-ganda ng Mass mo. Parang gusto kong sabihin, tumulong ka. <laughs> Para naman, eh, ka nga, eh, ito'y mapalagupan. Ano? The fruitfulness that Jesus speaks of is this. Hindi lang na yung ikay na bi-bless, kundi feeling mo, gagawa ko ng paraan na magiging blessing din ako. If you feel you are blessed by this TV ministry, if you feel ang dami mong biyayang tinatanggap, if you feel close to Jesus, help us to continue it and to make more, more people feel that there is a God who is the God of all blessings who promises that if you are connected to Him, We can ask the Father, and He will grant us what we ask for. Let's call on Jesus now. As we branches desire to be connected to the vine, daluya ng biyaya na ating pangangailangan. Say it with me, Jesus. Ang totoong puno. na siyang magbibigay ng lahat ng biyaya sa atin. O oh Jesus, you claim to be the true vine that replaces Israel as the source of all graces for God's people. Jesus, basbasan niyo po ang iyong sambayanan ngayon. Ipamalas mo sa amin na kayo nga ang pinanggagalingan, ang daluyan ng lahat ng biyayang aming pangangailangan. May we be constantly connected to you that so we may have the fruit of peace, of joy, of service in us. Lord, we whisper your name, but we welcome you into our hearts. May you truly be in us. May we be connected to you that so our lives may find meaning in the joy of community, of service to those who are in need. Lord, binabasbasan po namin ang lahat na nanonood sa television, lalong-lalo na po yung mga OFWs, yung aming mga kapatid na malayo sa kanilang mga minamahal sa buhay, ang mga may sakit, ang lahat ng na mga ngailangan, mas basan niyo po at iparamdam sa kanila na ako nga ang Diyos ng biyaya. Find the true one who will give us all the needs we desire. Jesus, good shepherd, way truth and life, light, have mercy on you. Aming pong hiningi ang lahat ng ito. Aming pangangilang Ama, sa pangalan ni Kristong Panginoon, aming tagapagdigtas, magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow your heads. Pray for God's blessing. Lord, help your people to seek you with all their hearts and to deserve what you promise. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and in your lives show the fruits of love. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We say welcome to Dr. Ken Baluyot and the wife for joining us today.